The incident happened at the Stewart Hotel, which is just above Mary's Strip Club in downtown Portland. The hotel has been the scene of an ongoing dispute between the owners and the low-income residents who lived there. Each side has filed lawsuits against the other. But August 13th, tensions hit a new level when the building owner, Leon Drennan, pulled a gun on a man who recorded the incident. God is good. Bless me. Because I pray uh-huh. that your soul uh-huh. be rested. Why would you break up my building? Sir, I don't know why. You why? Break that door I live here, sir. Why did you break that I door over? Here, sir. Why did you steal my plywood? I live here, why don't sir. you leave? What the f- is wrong with sir, you, mother? You f- me? Huh? Jesus is on my side. Yeah, right. Jesus, don't be- the man called police. Drennan, 73 years old, was arrested on a charge of unlawful use of a weapon and menacing. He's now out on bail. Drennan's lawyer, Robert Rep, said he's asking the district attorney's office to drop the charges. That is not the only allegation against Drennan, the building owner. This man, Latif Bossman, said a similar thing happened to him just two weeks earlier. One of my residents, fellow resident neighbors, was talking with the owner of the building, um, and he pointed a gun at her and said he would shoot her dog. And I said, hey, that's not right. Why would you say that to her? And he turned to me and pointed his gun at me and um, told me to get out of his building and called me the N-word, literally. And and we just kind of went in her room and closed the door and said we need to call 911. He filed a police report and was told to follow up with the district attorney's office, which he said he did. But after being told it could be 90 days before a decision on the charges, Bossman and his lawyer, Michael Fuller, held a small rally outside the DA's office to call attention to the issue. Fuller has seen that video of Drennan with the gun in August. My client was similarly assaulted about a month prior. And unfortunately, when the police arrived, they let the landlord go. Even though he had a, a firearm and was waving it around and screaming the N-word, they chose not to charge him. And that's why we're rallying today. There is no video of the earlier event with Bossman. But shortly after the rally, they were called by someone from the district attorney's office who said the case is actively being investigated by a hate crimes detective, but no charging decisions have been made. Fuller and Bossman are now suing Drennan for four and a half million dollars. The landlord's lawyer called Bossman, quote, an incredible liar and warned us not to run this story or show you that video. In the meantime, we dropped by the Stewart Hotel today. All those who lived there have moved on. Others say they want to turn the hotel into something good for the community. And we're going to make it into a community outreach center. We're going to focus on helping local businesses get back to their, their once glory. We're going to help people start local businesses. We're going to have a community outreach center for the people here. Hygiene, food, uh, all different types of resources and support they can get. Pat Doris, KGW News.